Follow your alpha command. My life! You have no right, Boozy. Should have killed me when you had the chance, huh? Fuck you! Who won? Fuck you! You made a big mistake going after the hollow. Come on! Why is your Zeke? Come on! Wait up! Fuck me! Not on so too white now! The man you're talking about took me in when I had nowhere else to go. You are no better than you! Nobody noticing? I'm not here to steal your heroin, Richie. I'm here to make you pay for what you did to Sammy and Ellis Robinson. I didn't have nothing to do with it! I watched you stab Ellis in the gut. I couldn't do nothing about it then, but I sure as hell can now. Oh, God damn it. None of that was my idea, you hear? It was all Georgie, him and his old man. They wanted y'all gone, not me. Oh. What was I supposed to do? Say no? Either that or make sure that I was dead. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, please. Please. Listen, listen. Just decent thing would be to let a man get in a prayer before you kill him. You can pray on the way up. Save a bullet or two. A nigger and a mech working together. Fuck me. I never thought I'd live to see the day. What can I say? Brave new world. Shall I leave then? I see the legs still giving you fits, huh, fuck up? Ah, oh, fuck you. You won't be so cocky once they take the acetylene to you. Fuck you! What do you think happens next, huh? You're gonna die, motherfucker. You're gonna hold next to me. You, your whole organization. You're gonna suck my dick in hell. Grab his legs. Time to get him into the garage. Fat cunt. Fuck! Fuck, god damn it! The fuck are you? Let's get him the fuck out of here. The cops are closing in. Hey, get the door. Yeah. Come on. Oh, oh, please! I didn't do nothing. You didn't do nothing. You were getting ready to fucking kill me. I was just doing what Uncle Sal told me to do. Nah, that fuck never liked me. I get it. But this? You never tried anything like this before. I don't. I don't. Come on, Mikey. Why do you want me gone all of a sudden? Said you were a carpet bagger. Never should have been down here in the first place. <laughs> ah! 
You want me to keep going? You got nine more. Fuck! Listen, Jesus, he was worried you knew about the casino. And so we're gonna play up to Leo and the commission. What casino? Answer the question. Uncle Sally's... You, you, you see that construction across the lake? He's building a casino over there. He wants to go legit. Turn this city into Las Vegas. Gambling's illegal. Uh, yeah, no shit, it's illegal. Uh, which is why he's paid a bunch of money to get the lost chain. Who else is involved in this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I swear it. <sighs> I told you what you wanted to know. You could have let me go now, right? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Stupid fucking prick. I'll clean this mess up. No reason for you to stick around. Remember our deal. I'm expecting to cut of everything you bring in. Hey, I know how this shit works. You'll get your money. There's a woman named Alma, helps me out sometimes. Cuban, mean as fuck. Should talk to her, see if she needs anything. Might be an easy way to bring in some extra money. Where's she at? At the warehouse. All right. What are you gonna do with him? Fish gotta eat like everyone else. Did anything to you? It's all some interesting stuff back there. Counterfeit money, a press. Only thing I can't figure out is a connection to Cuba. Please. I'm all busted up inside. I need a doctor. I got a wife and three little girls. Yeah, you want a doctor? Then you better tell me something worth hearing. Listen, what you saw. Sal set all that up. None of the money was worth of shit, though. They had me bring in a man named Alvarez, counterfeiter who works for Castro. He give you the plates, too? Plates? I thought you knew. On account of robbery. Robbery? <laughs> Marcano wanted the plates from the Federal Reserve. How do I find Alvarez? Uh, how? Well, one of Tommy's guys picked him up. It was... 10, 15 minutes before you showed up. Where are they taking him? Uh, Where? Huh? My little girls. No. I think you know how all this is gonna play out, don't you? <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> Go ahead. <coughs> Kill me. I'll be replaced tomorrow. <laughs> no one will even notice. You're wrong. Everyone will notice. <laughs> War 
Terror on the streets of our fair city as a gunman stormed the Royal Hotel, killing an untold number of men. There was a loud crash, like a bomb going off. I looked up, and there was a man falling from the top of the building. Then all these men showed up, and every one of them had a gun. They ran into the Royal, and that's when the shooting started. We stand here in the ruins of the last century. It was right in this spot where my great-great-great-grandfather joined his brothers in the defense of Louisiana against northern aggression. Now, he died in this spot to protect the virtues and the values of his people. Gave his life to uphold huh? the liberty of his state and to hold... I ain't waiting in the right place at the right time. I met the son of a bitch. Oh, you got it over. Frisco Fields as one of the city's most prominent citizens, Remy Duval, was savagely murdered. Witnesses report he was bound to a cross and set on fire. Let's see if we can get a statement from the police. Chief Wilson, you care to make a comment? It's those goddamn niggles. Every last one of them needs to be rounded up and shot. That's quite a statement, Chief. You need to wipe the shit out of your eyes, son. Take a look around. There's a goddamn war going on! That for Ms. Marcano? Yeah. I mean, yes, sir. Go on through. Put it on the ball. Has DeGamo signed yet? No, ma'am. And they've been beating on him pretty hard. Take one of his hands, see if that changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs gets worse. I think our Negro friend here is a little dim. Won't someone get him out of here? All right, big boy. Time for you to take a walk. Ah! I'm about to get... Mr. Lydia! Yeah. Asshole! Well, 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 well.
Good morning, Ms. Marcano. I'm here with your breakfast. Let's freshen this room up. Get some of that sunlight in here. That's better. That's far enough, you wop asshole! What the fuck, Lou? Take another step, me bitch. Can you think I give a shit about some politicians? Please! Please, I, I don't even know what's going on! Come on. Uh, Jesus, boy! <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here and catch my breath. Let me just do that. Let me just... Fuck! Hello, Lou. Listen, I got money. You can have it. All of it. Just don't kill me. I don't want your money. I want you to send a message to your brother. Yeah. Anything. Oh, just say it. You just say it. <laughs> <laughs> Businessman Louis Marcano also lost his life, along with dozens of other wealthy donors there to attend a political fundraiser. Few niggas really know how to brawl. Uh, my respect, that's for fucking sure. You must think I'm some kind of goddamn moron coming in here like you did. I've never been one to shy away from a calculated risk. Maybe you should have. Mix some vegetable oil in it. Makes the gasoline thick, sticky. We're just gonna let it soak in a little bit. <laughs> Work his way into every nook and cranny. <laughs> that way, when I light it, that shit's gonna burn like napalm. And you. You are gonna hurt like no one's hurt before. Fuck you. Guess you ready to die. You still be conscious as the flames creep up your legs. But as they burn, <coughs> you be hit in the gut with a sickening revelation. Before you die, you gonna feel your pecker burn. It's gonna curl and twist as the flames... <coughs> <coughs> Help me! Help me out here! This is the way you die! We can work something out. Only thing needs working out of your funeral arrangement. <laughs> You know, Sal wanted me to go to law school. Work for some big company. 
Maybe run for office. Do something decent with your goddamn life, you understand? Should have listened to him. It's in the blood, you know. <laughs> yeah. You are who you are. No point arguing with yourself about it. Fuck you. Return to patrols. Available unit. Reports of an armed Negro male in the French ward. Please investigate. Was hoping you would do that. <laughs> You, you must be the nigger. <laughs> My name is Lincoln Clay, motherfucker. Nigger? Lincoln Clay? These things mean the same thing. That you had me and Ellis's backs. It was just an act. You didn't kill me because I said no. You killed me because you thought you owned me. Owned all of us. It was never about us. It was about my old man. My father. Not did anything for him. Same as you and Sammy. And you understand why I have to do this. Hell of a sight, ain't it? When I first come to this town, it was nothing more than a backwater shithole. Now look at it. Let me see your hands. Whatever was between us is over, you understand? It ended the second it was you coming up them stairs instead of my son. You want a drink? Had this imported from Scotland. <laughs> Single malt. 
Now, usually I'm a bourbon man, but I figured I'd order something with a little more class for when the casino opened. Not much of a chance of that happening now, is it? Don't look that way. Take a seat. I ain't going nowhere. Hey, not bad. I think I still prefer shine. You know, a month or so after my brother Lucho died, I started having nightmares. I had this one where I was on a boat. A giant wave come and knocked my ass overboard. I hit that water and sink like a goddamn rock. And there was another one where cotton mouths biting me all to hell. But the one that really got to me was Georgie's funeral. He's laid out in that shitty little casket. Neck cut, same as Lucho's. Yeah, that one really got to me. It'll come around again every three or four days. I have one where I'm back in Nam, sleeping in a foxhole. All of a sudden, these dark figures come out of the shadows. I try to fight them off, but they hold me down, tie my hands together, stuff a muddy rag in my mouth so I can't scream, can't warn the men sleeping next to me. And then I got to listen as all those men die. I imagine that's not gonna go away anytime soon. No. I imagine it won't. And then this. <laughs> this was all to try to keep mine from coming true. Look how that turned out. I buried a lot of people. More than I can count. The one I never wanted to see go down in that cold ground was my son. And yet here we are. Yes. Here we are. My son is dead. And I'm having a drink with his killer. I'm not gonna apologize for what I did, you understand? If I did, I'd just be lying. I don't have it in me to feel shame for the things I've done to others. Never have. Didn't come here for an apology. Nah. I know you did. Goddamn, I was right about you, wasn't I? <laughs> Do it the second I fucking saw you at the country club. Men like us, we're just wired up wrong. There's only one thing we know. One thing we're good at. I'm gonna be waiting for you, Lincoln Clay. This won't be the last time we see each other. I know. What are you waiting for? Fucking do it. Finish this, you fucking coward. You just gonna fucking stand there? Fuck you. Fuck you! <laughs>